लिंक इन द स्लाइडर क्रैंक चेन स्लाइडर क्रैंक चेन इन वेरियन एंड इट्स अ कैरियर लेंथ इज डिनोटेड बाय लेटर बी व्हिच इज 120 मिलीमीटर एंड एल4 इज एक्चुअली द फोर्थ लिंक व्हिच इज एक्चुअली द आउटपुट लिंक इन फोर बार मैकेनिज्म एंड इट्स अ कैरियर लेंथ इज डिनोटेड बाय लेटर सी व्हिच इज 80 मिलीमीटर here it states that for theta 2 is equal to 40 degree means the input position or orientation of the crank at the time of analysis given is that 40 degree so we are to determine all the possible values of theta 3 and theta 4 means we are to determine the position of the coupler link and the rocker link rocker link as uh, we observe that the there are two possible locations for both the coupler link and the rocker link so we will be obtaining two values for each of theta 3 and theta 4 <coughs> i will be suggesting or devising or proposing a method to solve this example graphically as we do manually on drawing sheets but i will be suggesting a method to solve this example graphically with the help of microsoft word using some simple tools so uh because microsoft word is actually readily available and is easily available and though in microsoft word there are no uh, units shapes are free handed they drawn but we can approximate with some precision the positioning diagram according to the dimensions given by these parameters so for example first of all our first task will be to specify some suitable scale so that on the size of the page we can easily draw all the vectors depending upon the dimensions given so as we observe that the largest dimension here is 120 mm so that will be deciding actually the suitable scale for example scale that can be assumed here any suitable value but i suggest for example for this analysis that 20 mm is equal to 1 cm so in this way first of all we will be converting all link lengths into centimeters according to scale so scale is 20 mm is equal to 1 cm suggested so the crank link link 2 is actually will be equal to 2 cm and coupler link which is denoted by letter b will be equal to 6 cm as its length is 120 mm and the rocker link whose length is denoted by letter l4 then its length is given 80 mm so this comes out to be 4 cm and the grounded link l1 its length is actually 100 divided by 20 which is equal to 5 cm so in this way the conversion of the dimensions has been done uh, now we will be uh, inserting some pictures of scale and another picture for a protractor this is a complete 360 degree protractor and we can resize it like this 
and the scale will also be inserted here and we can a bit crop it this picture like this so we can uh, resize it for example so that all the calibrations or marking lines are visible clearly <coughs> remember that in order to draw these links we must specify the size of this scale once any suitable size of this scale can be selected or used but once we have specified some size for this scale remember that true values of centimeters though it is not actually showing the true values of centimeter as we will be printing but according to this environment of microsoft word all the links will be drawn according to these dimensions so we will not be changing this scale while we will be drawing the links so <coughs> after that we will be starting from the crank link like this as we can observe that it's theta 2 is given by uh, 40 degree and its length is given here according to scale so we will click on insert and the shapes area and for example we can click on this line arrow sh shape and at any suitable location for example we can draw this vector now our task will be first of all to orient this link so we will be bringing the cursor uh, bringing the protractor at the grounded revolute joint of this vector so uh, in order to move we will be uh, wrap, uh, we will be applying wrap text and we will be setting it to be for example throw option so here like this and as now we can observe that the arrow or the vector is behind this diagram so we can click on wrap text and then we can set it to be behind text or we can also use send back option is also there so we can use behind text so that this vector is actually on the front now we will be bringing this vector exactly at the center of this protector like this for example and now we will be noting its angle and its angle as it has been given that that is 40 degree so here as we can observe we can resize this protector so that the dimensions are more clear like this this will not be affecting the dimensions our orientation so 
here as we can observe that this link has been placed 40 mm after that our task will be to defining its length so what we will be doing that we will be rotating this scale according to so that we can also set uh, uh, click on wrap text and make it throw option as we can observe we will have to control it like this so when it will be nearly parallel to this vector then we will be specifying this crank is to be 2 cm just so as we can observe that now we can click on this vector and we can set it to be this is 2 cm approximately like this so <coughs> this vector has been placed according to scale 2 cm now we can move this protector out and this scale out as well so first vector vector a has been drawn and after that we will be drawing for example the grounded link so we will be clicking on a uh, shapes area and here we can draw another line arrow and we can place it here like this about in horizontal position randomly like this and now we will be setting its length to be like this as we can observe that the ground is actually denoted by link L1 by the letter D and its length is given by scalar length is given by 100 millimeter which is equal to 5 centimeter so as the scale has been placed we can resize this vector to be here like this this is 5 centimeter it has been shown we can uh, also make this grounded link some uh, different pattern of line so we can change it to for example dashed pattern so that the grounded link actually does not move so uh, as we can observe that crank and ground have been placed now our next task will be to define the locations of the connecting rod or coupler link and the rocker link for the open and cross positions so what we will be doing that uh, we can first of all label these vectors so we can insert click on a text box for example and we can click on draw text box and we can type like this for example this is o subscript 2 and change it to subscript here like this and after that we will be doing some settings go into the text box here in the shape fill area we will be no filling it and then we will go to outline and no outline so that only O2 or just tag is visible like this 
so we can place it manually at the proper locations so o2 has been placed like this and after that what we can do we can either another time use the draw command draw text box command but we can simply uh, copy and paste this drawn text box and we can further modify it we can copy it and we can uh, repaste it at some suitable location here and now we can change it to be letter a because this is actually the crank end and after that we will be denoting again sorry this to be O4 this is the rocker ground revolute O4 so this has been labeled and now we will be drawing and uh, we will be drawing the locations for the coupler link and the rocker link so for the coupler link the center will be point O the end of this crank and for the rocker link the center will be O4 or this grounded revolute joint uh, what we will be doing that we will be first of all be drawing at the point A a circle of radius equal to the length of the uh, connecting rod which is equal to 120 millimeter so this is the coupler link or connecting rod link and its length is 120 millimeter or according to scale it is 6 centimeter so we will be either drawing an arc or we can preferably draw a circle here at this location so in order to draw a circle as a circle cannot be uh, specifically drawn according to dimensions so we can take the help of this protractor and we can uh, resize it here like this we will be placing it at the tip of this vector a and we can for example uh, resize it now what we will be doing that we will first of all be knowing that the radius of this circle must be equal to according to the length of the coupler link and the length of the coupler link which is link number third this is six centimeter so we will be measuring the length to be six centimeter from any suitable location for example from here we will be counting it to be six centimeter so we can actually for example resize this circle and here as you can observe this is one centimeter two centimeter three centimeter four centimeter so the length we can resize it for example this like this suppose here at this location and this is one centimeter two three four five and once again we can resize it so we will again be resizing it one two three four five six centimeter again so that so as we can observe that one two three four five six so it is now approximately equal to six centimeter we will be trying a bit so
so it will be clear uh, like this as 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 cm so as we can observe the outer periphery of this protector is at 12 so 12 minus 6 is equal to 6 cm so the circle uh, now we will be drawing the circle command uh, here like this that we will be clicking on insert and shape and then we will be using this oval shape and we will be now resizing it according to our own desire now we can format this shape as to be for example no fill and so that it is clear and here we can uh, resize it according to the size of this protractor like this so this is a free hand uh, measuring or mapping because the circle cannot be drawn according to the exact dimension in a so as we can observe the circle has been drawn once the circle has been drawn then we can move the protractor out so the center of the circle is at point O and after that we will be placing the same protractor at other grounded revolute O4 like this approximately will exactly at the center here like this and now we can observe that now we are to draw the rocker circle which is link 4 and link 4 dimension as we observe that this is 80 millimeter or 4 centimeter according to scale as we have drawn so first of all we will be creating a circle of radius 4 centimeter so in a similar manner we first of all measure its length from any suitable point and count that the size of this uh, radius of this protector is 4 centimeter so that a circle of 4 radius can be drawn so for example I have placed the center of this protector at uh, 5 uh, graduation so we can observe 1 2 3 4 so at 9 it comes out to be 4 so we will be resizing this protector oh, like this and we can again be resizing it so 1 2 3 4 still we have to decrease its size again 1 2 3 4 again we will have to be resizing it so this will take some expertise and labor to work but it is quite easier so 1 2 3 4 so it is nearly equal to 4 we can again uh, further uh, resize it like this remember that this 0 and 180 degree line must be matching the edge of this scale like this now it is approximately 1 2 3 4 millimeter so now we will be moving this scale out and we will again be drawing another inserting another shape of 
this oval shape and at this center location again similarly we can go into the shape format and no fill and we can further resize it and we can now move it here like this so this is a free hand control of drawing this circle here like this so uh, as we can observe that the circle has been drawn nearly of the size of the protector so now we can move this protector out so protector has been moved out so two circles have been drawn actually in practically while we will be working with the compass uh, we don't require to draw complete circles means we don't require to draw complete circles by using compass we can only make arcs at suitable locations but as here it is not possible so i have drawn two complete circles so as we can observe here are uh, two intersection points so now we will be connecting these two points with each other so this will be one location and once again we will be inserting another arrow shape like this here so so this is the open loop and for the cross loop we can insert another arrow that will be connecting at this intersection and another arrow shape arrow line here this is the cross position so as we can observe that the outline of this four bar has been drawn once again we can copy these uh, tag or these labels so we can copy them and we can paste them at suitable locations so this is actually the point uh, B for example this is point B and this is here for example we can move this further label at uh, this location and this is for example b dash so these locations have been completely drawn now we can for example change their colors like this for example uh, sorry we can change these links for open cra uh, open circuit and we can leave them as black color uh, 
sorry here outline is weight weight reduce it so as we can observe red is actually the open circuit and o to a b dash 404 is actually the cross circuit cross loop now we can for example compare it this figure according to this output figure and as we can observe our figure is almost quite similar to the figure drawn here now we will be verifying our angles as we can observe here that theta 4 for open loop and theta 3 for open 3 for open loop so we can first of all denote those for example we can click on shape and we can draw this horizontal uh, reference line imaginarily we can also change its dashed pattern like this and again a similar line we can uh, for example just copy it here and we can place it here just as a reference so now we can click on again on shapes and we can for example draw this arc and just to represent angle we can again copy paste it, this arc and we can bring it here like this <coughs> so now we can again copy paste this label here for example at this location and we can change it to be theta 3 1 so like this we can click on Z and go to symbols and this is for example the theta value and this is theta 3 and its further subscript is actually 1 so it is again a subscript so we can leave it here so this is theta 3 1 actually the position of this coupler AB for the open 4 bar loop and we can again copy this theta 3 1 and we can paste it at for theta 4 1 theta 4 subscript 1 here like this now we actually measure the positions of theta 3 1 and theta 4 1 4 subscript 1 <coughs> now we bring protector at uh, this location again zero line here and now we observe that this theta 3 1 is approximately this is 20 millimeter as we can observe here 
if we increase its scale its zoom we zoom in then we can observe that this red line is actually crossing this 20 graduation marking so here we can observe that the angle is recurrent 20.3 so our value is quite nearly equal to this value so this result has been verified and after that we verified this theta 4 1 its value in a similar manner so we can move this protector here like this at this location very accurately clearly and as we can observe that here this line is actually crossing this is 55 56 57 so as we can observe the value here is 57.33 and our value is quite near so <coughs> in the graphic graphical work 10 to 15 percent error is allowed if the method is correct so our results are quite accurate in this way and now we can also measure the angles for the cross loop locations so first of all we will be defining the positions for the cross loop we will be denoting them so we can again use the this arc option and we can draw an arc to represent this angle so we will be bit modifying it like this and from this reference we can start here we can further uh, control it like this so this is just our expertise so as we do work we will be getting control by drawing such figures in Microsoft Word like this so this is nearly suitable here and as we can observe that there are some limitations or compromises by drawing figures in Microsoft Word so this is the angle theta 3 2 so we can in a similar manner for example we can just copy it and for example we can paste it here and then we can move it at this suitable location this is actually theta 3 2 theta 3 2 and again in a similar manner we can for example copy and paste this arc at this location here like this and we can further a bit modify it and here like this so we can draw this label we can copy paste this label also there here like this and this is actually theta 4 2 so this is theta 4 to the second position of this rocker link and now we will be measuring the angles so as we can observe the angle here as sorry here as we can
we can observe that here this coupler link it is actually after 180 degree and if we are using this internal scale here this is uh, 180 uh, and here as we can observe this is equal to less than a uh, somewhat 300 degrees a bit less than 300 degrees so this comes out to be uh, here it is 290 and here it will be 295 296 297 298 something here like this and uh, as we can observe here clockwise angle is given minus 60 degree so if we uh, subtract the 60.98 from 360 degree so uh, for example I uh, can launch here the window calculator here and as we can observe that we will be subtracting this uh, subtracting this 60.98 from this 360 and as we can observe that is equal to 299 so here we can also observe in our analysis that this is nearly quite equal to 300 degrees so our second angle theta 32 is also nearly equal or 100 percent correct approximately and now we will be measuring the angle theta 42 in a similar manner and as now we can observe that if we are observing the inner scale and here the angle is 250 260 and somewhat 260 uh, 1 260 2 three degrees somewhat so here in the diagram we can observe that the clockwise angle is minus 98 so if we subtract uh, from 3 60 degree this angle which is actually shown here to be 98.01 98.01 so as you can observe here it is 260.99 and the value that we have shown here as we can observe that the same value it is shown here this is equal to 261 262 somewhat the same value is here and the same value has been verified so in this way position analysis has been completed this is the actual diagram from the book of design of machinery and this is the diagram which I have drawn now we can simply move this protector out and this scale out like this and now graphically this diagram has been completed we can simply type the angle values here if we want for example theta 312 this value is we can show it here that this value was 360 minus 60.98 60.98 so this was 299 approximately 300 so we can change it where for example 299 degrees 299 degree we can insert here the degree symbol 
here like this so this is approximately 290 degrees and again this theta 4 value here which is equal to which is equal to 360 minus 98.01 and which we have already calculated we have already calculated that this comes out to be 360 minus 360 minus 98.01 so here we can 98.01 so this is equal to somewhat 262 so we can just type the value here 262 degrees here we can insert the degree symbol so like this so in this way all the angles have been found out and if we want we can increase their uh, size of these vectors like this in the shape format in the shape outline we can increase their uh, weight for example uh, one pint is sufficient again this is also equal to its weight is one point and here we can also change their size one point and here like this so both open and circuit have been drawn successfully now our next task will be the velocity diagram graphically and we will be moving to chapter number 6 and the article 6-7 analytical solution for velocity analysis and this is on page number this is on page number 321 of the textbook 6th edition so we will be solving the same example graphically this is example 6-7 as the position analysis has now been done so the velocity analysis will now be done graphically so to perform the velocity analysis we must first of all read the statement that given a four bar linkage with the link lengths as given here as shown and it says that for theta to 40 degree and omega 2 is 25 radian per second remember that here it is written that the angular velocity of the input link means crank which is link 2 is 25 radian per second means uh, 25 radian per second is actually counterclockwise because conventionally the angles in the clock counterclockwise orientation are taken as to be positive so if it written it were written here that omega 2 is equal to minus 25 radian per second then it would mean that 25 radian per second is actually clockwise so we must know this fact and never do any mistake while doing calculations or drawing vectors or their rotations so it says that find the values of 
omega 3 and omega 4 means the angular velocities of the connecting rod or coupler link and the angular velocities of the rocker link and V A V B A V B means V A is the absolute velocity of the <coughs> crank and V B A is actually the velocity of the relative velocity of the connecting rod and it is actually the velocity of point B with respect to point A or with reference to point A and VB is actually the velocity of the rocker so we will first of all be writing the velocity equation by writing the velocity equation we must know that as we observe from the diagram that actually point B is the output so A is actually the input point means actually the point A was located on the crank moving revolute. So this was a common point between the coupler link and the crank link and after that we got the information for point A by using the data for the crank link means crank radius and its angular velocity because the velocity of point A with respect to crank ground revolute that was O to A into omega 2 means R omega so after that we got the complete information for the velocity of point A we would shift this point A to the connecting rod or coupler link and in a similar manner point B which was actually common between this connecting rod and a uh, uh, link and this rocker link this was the common point and with respect to rocker link its velocity was perpendicular to this rocker link so as the orientation and the magnitude of this uh, point B absolute velocity of point B is quite unique so we also shifted that point temporarily to the connecting rod and we will be now writing the velocity equation for the connecting rod so we can type here that V B for example is equal to V A plus V B A now we will be a bit formatting it like this so that the vectors are properly written so here we must know that this is a vector equation this is the vector equation though no upper arrows have been drawn <coughs> so VB here it sh shows that this is the output velocity of the rocker which will equal to the velocity of point A and the result uh, the vector sum of velocity of point B with respect to point A so this equation actually describes the velocity of the connecting rod points A and B so remember that whenever we actually write this equation of the relative velocity this is purely for the link in complex motion this is neither for the crank neither for the rocker link this is purely for the link in complex motion always because we had shifted these points A and B from the crank and the rocker respectively and shifted them temporarily to the connecting rod and we obtained the data for point B from 
द इनपुट क्रैंक पॉइंट ए थ्रू कनेक्टिंग रॉड एंड देन वी वुड बी वी विल बी टेम्परेली शिफ्टिंग पॉइंट बी टू द रॉकर लिंक एंड वी विल बी फाइंडिंग द एंगुलर विलासिटी ऑफ द रॉकर लिंक सो द इक्वेशन हैज बिन रिटर्न नाउ फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी कैन ड्रॉ देयर डायमेंशन देयर ओरिएंटेशन ऑन द एक्चुअल डायग्राम सो मेकिंग इट मोर क्लियर वी कैन कॉपी दिस डायग्राम एन अदर पेज वी कैन सिंपली कॉपी दिस कॉम्प्लीट डायग्राम we will be moving this scale and this protector on the next page and we will now be copying complete diagram on the next page for the velocity diagram so as we can observe that we can first of all define the angular velocity orientation angular velocity orientation like this for example or we can use some other better arrow just to show the orientation uh, uh, or orientation of rotation so we can use for example this we will be using some other suitable arrow uh, or we can simply use this or here like this and we can we can create arrow manually here like this so we can now 
in a similar manner for example we can copy this text box and we can write here omega 2 by inserting symbol from here that this is omega and we can type the subscript to so undo automatic capitalization and we can change it into subscript like this so this omega 2 has been shown here we can it's increase its size for example like this so omega 2 it has been shown here and as we can observe that the, the orientation of the velocity it is uh, actually I have drawn wrong the, I have drawn the, the orientation of this arrow in the clockwise orientation but in the problem it is given 25 radian positive so this is counterclockwise so we will be correcting it so I can change it or we can move it for the time being like this and then we can change this arrow in the other orientations So there is some limitations. So now we can move this omega to here like this. So the orientation of the velocity that has been shown here. Now we can uh, remove this angle dialog boxes to make this diagram clear. Uh, we can also remove these circles as well. or just for clarification or elaboration or making the diagram neat and clean now we will be drawing the velocity vectors perpendicularly so first of all just by observation as the rotation is in this direction so this will be the velocity vector VA at this location of the crank and this will be perpendicular to 
this crank here as we can observe that here now we can for example move it like this and we can as we can observe that this is perpendicular and this is the velocity VA so we can copy this dialog box here like this and we can now move it here at this location and we can call it that this is V subscript A so VA has been drawn here here like this <coughs> VA has been drawn and after that as we can observe that if the crank is moving in the counterclockwise orientation then this rocker link will also be moving in the counterclockwise orientation so a similar vector will be placed at and that will be perpendicular to the this rocker link just I am initially making it by observation but when I will be drawing the velocity triangle then I will be making it exactly perpendicular or in the correct orientation and now we can also move this perpendicular sign here and then we can we can also change the size of this triangle like this so that it is it becomes nearly perpendicular symbol so this and now we can also copy this V A tag sorry V A tag at this location here so we can denote it to be uh, sorry we can denote it to be V B like this and now we will be drawing the orientation of V B relative to A and remember that the relative velocity will be perpendicular to the link in complex motion means A B so now we will be drawing the velocity vector which will be for example perpendicular to this connecting rod at this point and now uh, what we can do as I have copied this uh, vector with arrow line but as we don't know the correct orientation of rotation of the connecting rod or capillary link so the best is that we will just be drawing the perpendicular line so instead of drawing the arrow line we can insert uh, a simple line and just we will be making it perpendicular and we will be moving this line in both the orientations but maintaining perpendicular to this coupler link necessarily 
I am drawing perpendicular just by observation. We can also use D or protector for exactly perpendicular orientation. So we can also make it some dashed pattern so that it is not confused with the actual geometry. So this dashed line is actually perpendicular. So we can also shift this perpendicular symbol in a similar way. Here we can move it and we can bring it here. Again we can move it and we can uh, resize it and we can place it here and as we can observe that, <coughs> that now we will be calculating the angles so we can for example zoom in further so that angles are clear As we can uh, uh, extend this horizontal reference and as we can observe the angle We can delete this uh, for example for the uh, cross circuit. We will first of all be solving only the open circuit so that the diagram is uh, cleaner. like this uh, now we can for example sorry we can copy this uh, angular sign here uh, and this is actually theta 2 this is actually the location or position of the crank so we will be this we can call it to be theta 2 we must show this let click on and this is uh, theta subscript 2 and now as we can observe that this theta 2 C 
same theta 2 is here as alternate angle as this alternate angle will also be theta 2 so this VA is perpendicular to this O2 A link So this angle will be equal to So, <coughs> this angle will be equal to uh, 90 minus this theta 2 copy this theta 2 so this angle will be 90 minus theta 2 and which comes out to be 90 minus theta 2 and we can observe that theta 2 was 40 degree then 90 minus 40 degree which is equal to 
actually 50 degrees so in this way sorry we can insert proper symbol here I think this is the uh, degree symbol so in this way so this extended dialog box is shown here so the velocity of VA with this horizontal <coughs> has been shown shown here or we can change this text size here like this so that it is better clear <coughs> now we will be similarly finding the orientation of the velocity VB and we can in a similar manner draw this horizontal imaginary reference at uh, this location as well like this and we can also observe that the alternate angle this is theta 4 1 so the angle between this horizontal and this rocker link will also be theta 4 1 which is actually the alternate angle and now this VB is perpendicular to this link so that means we will be obtaining the angle between this VB and this horizontal to be 90 minus theta 4 1 so in a similar manner we can copy this label from here we can copy this label from here and we can uh, just paste we can just paste it here and now change the values so this is theta 4 1 theta 4 1 and this is actually 57 57 0.325 as it is written here though uh, in our work it is some, somewhat uh, different but we are just learning the method so this comes out to be if we calculate it so 90 minus 57.325 5 this comes out to be 32.675 so we can type it here 32.675 degrees and as we can observe the angle has been calculated So the angle, angle of velocity VB with the horizontal has also been shown and now we will be <coughs> determining the angle of velocity this perpendicular with the horizontal are one of the principal orientations so 
we can first of all label this perpendicular as to be the line of action of V B A means that the relative velocity of B with respect to A link uh, with respect to A link with respect to A point so this can be upward or downward in this direction but we are just concerned with its orientation means its angle with the either, either horizontal or vertical <coughs> so now as we can observe that this VBA is actually perpendicular to this connecting rod or coupler link AB and as we can observe this angle theta 3 1 is actually the alternate angle here between this horizontal and this connecting rod these are alternate angle so the angle of this VBA with respect to this horizontal will be equal to 90 minus theta 3 1 so we can for example draw this uh, angle symbol we can copy it from any location here like this this is theta 3 1 and this is also theta 3 1 and we can again copy this angular symbol here So the angle of VBA with this horizontal will be equal to for example we can copy this label just to save time. and this will be equal to 90 minus theta 3 1 and theta 3 1 is actually 20 point as we can observe here that theta 3 20 point 298 20 point 298 20 point 298 and this comes out to be we can observe that 90 minus 20.298 so this comes to 69.702 so this is actually 69.702 degrees so as now the orientation of all three velocity vectors have been shown
so now we will be specifying specifying the velocity equation which is equal to v b is equal to v a plus v b a so we can change it to proper subscripts which is actually showing the points for the velocities so we can out now we will first of all be drawing the vector whose complete velocity is known for example as we can observe that VA velocity is completely known VA is actually equal to VA is equal to O to A so this and we will be multiplying it by omega 2 and this comes out to be Forty multiplied by omega two is given here. Twenty five radians. So this will come out to be one thousand millimeter per second. So this is the input velocity, and this velocity is actually oriented at fifty degrees with the horizontal. So, from arbitrary or random point, we will be drawing this velocity vector. For example, we will be in a similar manner be drawing this arrow size at any suitable location, and we can again select some suitable scale for example the uh, we can write here velocity velocity scale which is equal to for example <coughs> in the input is uh, 1000 millimeter per second so for example we can assume any suitable value suppose 200 mm per second which is equal to 1 centimeter according to scale so 1000 mm will be equal to 1000 divided by 200 which will be equal to 5 centimeter so this uh, first of all we will be maintaining its orientation with the help of D so that a true realistic diagram can be drawn in this manner
as we can observe here just by observation now we will be moving this vector this is making horizontal 40 degree with the horizontal so as we can observe here that this is equal to yeah, here this is 10 degree 20 degree 30 degree and this is equal to approximately uh, 40 degree so this is 1 tw 10 20 30 and this is equal to 40 degrees and now we will be again moving this scale to we will moving this scale to size this vector to be exactly 5 centimeter so we can in a similar manner we can move here so if the uh, space is not suffi sufficient here we can move on to the next page for the velocity triangle to be drawn and now we can move here at any so for example we are just to my ear at 5 centimeter so it start it's at for example 10 1 2 3 4 and 5 so we can as observe that we can uh, rotate this scale a bit more and we can make it as far as possible accurate with this alignment with this vector so as we can observe that 5 centimeter link has been uh, drawn carefully again we can uh, resize it if the dimension if the length of the vector is not equal to 5 centimeter so this VA has been drawn now we can move this scale and this protector out so input link input velocity vector VA has been drawn here so we can also at the same time for example label it here so or we can use just a text box so, so that it better can be moved just we can draw text box here so we can type VA is equal to V subscript A 1 centimeter and then we can change, change this shape fill into no fill and shape outline to no outline so in this way VA has been shown here in this way so according to scale the vector has been drawn and as we observe from the this velocity uh, equation that VA has been drawn so now we will be drawing or adding this vector VBA relative velocity vector or velocity of point B with respect to point A and we will be vectorially adding into VA so both of VA and VBA will be added using head to tail rule so that VB becomes their resultant so 
now we will be drawing the orientation of VBA so we will be drawing the imaginary reference so we can horizontal reference so we can just for example copy this reference from here and we can move it on to the next page sorry here on to the next page here so this horizontal reference at the tip has been placed now we will be moving this protractor and we will be placing it here like this and now we will be drawing uh, just a simple line instead of arrow because the orientation is not yet known so we can uh, start a simple line here and at angle of as shown here in the uh, our diagram that the VB has its angle 69.702 so as we can observe that here this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and here it is somewhat 69 so we can 69 point this is a, a, approximately 70 so we can make this line <laughs> remember that the length of this line is random because the magnitude of VB relative A is not known yet so we just be drawing it freely and we can also change its uh, into dashed pattern for example uh, no need to convert it into da in and dashed pattern yet here like this so this is equal to somewhat 69 and we can further uh, move this line in the other orientation so that because the intersection is not possible in this vertical angle or uh, in this location so in this way this line has been placed now we can move this protector out here like this we can now move this protector out now as we can observe that we be a line has been drawn both in the upper direction and in the backward direction in the in both directions this random line uh, sorry the uh, at its proper location at its proper orientation it has been drawn now as we can observe that from the velocity equation that vb will be the resultant of the sum of both of these vector so it will be starting from the tail of the first vector and it will be meeting with the head of the last vector or the arrow of the last vector so uh, we will again be drawing a simple line because so that the intersection is located first so I have drawn this line but now as we can observe the ing uh, the orientation or angle of uh, this line with the horizontal is shown here this VB is making angle horizontal 32.675 with the horizontal 
so we will be uh, orienting this line to be at 32.7 degrees 32 point given values so here again we can draw a horizontal reference for better angle representation so we can just copy for example a reference from anywhere and we can uh, paste it again and then we can simply move it here like this and now we move the protractor at this uh, location exactly at the center so that angle is correctly drawn and now as we can observe that this is uh, to be 32 degrees so uh, here this is 10 20 and here it is 30 so we can move it for example this is now 32 degrees as we can observe that this is 10 20 and 30 and this is 31 and 32 for example like this so as we can observe the velocity triangle has been drawn the intersection has been placed now for example we can draw the arrowheads so we can complete the velocity triangle like this for example VA so the tail of VBA will be starting from here and it will be placed at here at this location and now we will be drawing the VBA sorry VBA here like this exactly maintaining uh, collinear with the original lines so as we can observe that now graphically we can measure the inside angles between these vectors uh, we can first of all label all these vectors here we can move it and this is equal to v b a sorry this is equal to v b a v subscript b a and this is equal to v b as we can observe that v b a vector will be away from vector v a and towards vector vector b so in this way the velocity triangle has been completed now we can calculate the angles by using either trigonometry or we can calculate them graphically according, uh, with the help of the protractor so if we want to calculate or measure the internal angle with the help of protector we must proceed these lines a bit uh, we must extend these lines of VA and VB etc so that they actually overlap or pass through these marking uh, graduations so here we will be placing the protector uh, like this 
at this and then we will be observing the angle between this VA and VB line internal angle and this internal angle as we can observe that this uh, comes out to be for example 1 2 3 4 uh, here approximately 5 6 7 8 so this comes out to be for example 5 6 7 8 degrees so in this way we will be measuring these angles from the or we can calculate them from the trigonometry uh, relations that as we can observe that VA the angle of VA with the horizontal it was 50 degree and the angle of VBA with the horizontal was 32.675 so the angle between VA and VB will be equal to VA VB will be equal to 50 minus 32.675 so this comes out to be minus 32.675 this comes out to be 17.35 degrees uh, here I think there is some uh, mistake in the uh, velocity triangle we will again be checking it first of all we uh, confirm that the orientation of the VA and orientation of the VA is must be equal to 50 degree this is 10 20 30 40 so this is wrong this uh, uh, must be equal to 50 degrees because theta 2 is 40 degrees so uh, here the orientation or direction of VA has been wrongly drawn so 1 uh, 10 20 30 40 and 50 millimeter here like this uh, we will be moving this vector 10 degree more here and you know uh, we, we can again draw uh, this velocity triangle a bit in a cleaner manner so that we are not confused we can move it out we can delete these vectors let the horizontal reference remain now again we can insert this arrow at a random location and now we can satisfy this orientation so as we can observe we can increase the size of the protector if we are not clear we are finding problem in observation or noting the readings here as you can observe this is 10 20 30 40 and again here this is a uh, 50 degrees so 50 degrees and after that we will be placing this scale exactly parallel to this vector and we can observe that its length should be according to the scale which we have selected here that this must be 5 cm so 
we can make it 5 cm for example here I have placed 10 so 1 2 3 4 if 5 so in this way this vector is exactly 5 cm at this time so this vector has been drawn now we will be drawing this horizontal reference at this tip here Now again we will be drawing a simple just line here at the given angle we can move this whole diagram a bit down so that the diagram can be easily drawn here in a similar manner we can extend inside uh, in the backward in the outwards orientations and again we will be placing the protector here and we will be measuring the angle and this angle was 69.702 degrees as we had observed in the diagram this angle was 69.702 of VBA with the horizontal so here as we can observe this is 10 20 30 40 50 60 and here it will be equal to uh, 69.702 here will be equal to in this way so approximately this line has been drawn this must pass through the center of this protector like this in this manner so this extended line has been drawn at 69.702 degrees uh, we can again observe 10 20 30 40 50 60 and this is 69 point something so now we can move this protector out and after that we will be drawing another just line and from that will be started from here and its angle with the horizontal is actually 30 2 point as it is shown here 32.675 this is 32.675 so we can bring the calculator again here and as we can observe this is 10 20 and here 10 20 and 30 2.702 here approximately 
so this is 10 20 30 and this is 32.70 degrees so in this way now we move the protector out and the velocity triangle has been completed now we will be satisfying the orientations of the vectors as in this diagram as we can observe that VA VB is actually the vectorial sum of VA and VB relative to A so VA and VB A will be added head to tail rules means the tail of the velocity vector V B A will be placed or connected with the arrow of the velocity vector V A and V B is actually the resultant so the tail of the velocity vector V B will be started from the tail of velocity vector V A which was the first vector and it will be connected with the arrow or head of the velocity vector V B A so we can just insert a shape arrow here like this so that arrows and we can uh, again insert this arrow shape here like this and now as we can observe that now we will be observing the angle between and now we can observe that the angle between the velocity vector VA will be calculated graphically we can label the diagram first this is VA and we can again copy here copy and paste here so that this is equal to V V subscript V A and this is the velocity vector V A V B the angle between VA and VB will be equal to as VA is making 50 degree angle with the horizontal and this is 32% so this comes out to be 
17.325 so as we can observe that here that this is uh, uh, 10 So, in this way the velocity triangle can be calculated and after that as these uh, diagrams uh, of the velocity triangle <coughs> measuring the angle with the help of this protector is a uh, bit laboring work because it is actually uh, making some difficulties so you can better measure the angle with the help of protractors physically and then uh, you can also measure the length of these sides for example you can measure the angle yourself but I can just for uh, experience can measure the lengths of these sides VBA and as you can observe here this is 1 and this is approximately 2.2 .2 centimeter so we if we convert it 2.2 .2 centimeter 2.2 .2 centimeter according to scale and the scale that I had selected here that was that 200 millimeter was equal to 1 centimeter so 2.2 .2 centimeter we will be multiplying it with 200 so this is, comes out to be 440 so that means the velocity of VB relative A is somewhat 440 so we can check it here that if our value matches with it and as we can observe that the v velocity of VB magnitude is 140 uh, sorry here V uh, B A its magnitude is 494 and our value is 440 means there is a uh, slighter variation because the diagram has some variations 